Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach Velocity Banking. Today I am going over a part two scenario for someone who is paid on commissions and their base salary is at $5,800 but it can be higher or lower every month depending upon their sales. So I wanted to give a roundabout view of what it would look like if you are working on commissions but you do have a base now, with the scenario I'm about to use here, there will be a minimum amount that you have to pay every month. So in the event you meet that minimum on this account, then you are still fine with your spending, you are still fine with your expenses, you are still fine with making your payments on time. So in this scenario, we are going to use a first lien HELOC to come in and take control of the debt that he currently has. The income is at $5,800 and the expenses is currently at $3,898. The cash flow being at 1902, which is a good cash flow, but we're about to clean that up a little bit more. The mortgage is at $246,899. The truck is at $315 and he has an LOC that is $17,200. In the event that he obtains a first lien HELOC, he will engulf this mortgage of $246,899. He can take the $31,500 balance on the truck and the $17,200 balance on the LOC. Now remember, a first lien HELOC is based upon the value of your home. So if you have a credit score of over 700 and your DTI is in good shape, then the loan to value on a first lien HELOC is 90%. So you would take your home's value times 90%. That will tell you what your first lien HELOC should be approved for in the event that you meet all the other underwriting requirements. So he would take these three loans and put them into one being a total of $295,599. Now the interest rate currently on a first lien HELOC is 7.35% for three years. So you can have that locked in and due to our economy right now, I would do that myself if I were going to get one of these because I would want that rate locked in because the feds keep hiking those rates and a variable interest rate right now is not something that you really want to get involved in. So in month one, he would come in and put his base income of $5,800 into this new first lien HELOC. Now remember, with a first lien HELOC, they will give you checks and debit cards. That way, all of your expenses can come out of this same account that all of your income goes into, keeping that interest low. So upon entering the $5,800, his balance would come down to $289,799. I took the high balance of $295,599 times the 7.35% and divided that by 365 days, which gave me $59.52 per day the interest would be charged on this amount. But do you see, as soon as his income goes in, the amount comes down. He's never going to pay the $59.52 on that amount because the amount is not going to stand there at that. So as it comes down and then as it goes back up with the expenses and the interest, the bank will figure the interest on an average daily balance. So I am taking off of the high balance here just to give you an idea of the highest that interest charge will be. So the expenses will come out, the interest will come out, and then the balance will be at $292,810. This is $58.96 a day, okay, in interest. So the income in month two will go in, knocking the balance straight down to $287,010. The interest and the expenses will come back out, bringing the balance to $289,979. Income will go in in month three. The expenses and the interest will come out. Month four, same thing. Month five, same thing. Month six, same thing. He will do this all the way down through month 17. Now in month 17, he has the balance that his mortgage was previously at at 246 because he has paid off all other debts in 17 months. After the 17 months is up, he'll be at a balance of $244,833. He will then just be working on the principal that he already had on his home. He's avoiding all of the interest that is on that home being charged because he's transferred it into a first lien. Now it will take him 68 more months to pay off the home too. What does that mean? 
In 85 months, he has cleared out all of his debt, including his home. So in just over seven years, he is out of debt. What did he do different? He didn't do anything different. He just transferred all of his loans into a first lien HELOC. Income in, expenses out, debt gone. He has not gotten another job. He's not delivering pizzas. He's not doing DoorDash. He is still a car salesman, okay? And yes, he will get higher commissions some months. So Lord only knows how quickly he'll be able to pay this off as soon as the market gets settled out here and the car sales go back up because they're finally going to cut the interest rates back down. Everybody will be out buying cars again. This guy's going to get his debt paid off a lot earlier than seven years, and I just know it. But the fact is, he's not doing anything different today. He is just using a line of credit to wipe out all of his debt, income in, expenses out, including that interest. And he's a winner, because if you can pay off your house in seven years, knowing that he's on a 30 year where he stands now, that's impressive, right? Thank you all for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you in the next video.